Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey, my name is Matt. And today, we are reviewing a bottle that shares the name of my profession I would have if I didn't decide to become a professional whiskey taster. Today, we're reviewing Penelope Architect, build number three. Obviously, the folks over at Penelope use the old saying, measure once, cut twice, because the first two builds obviously didn't work because they did a third build. And from a contractor point of view, which I'm not a contractor, but I'm just imagining their point of view would be like, oops, I did it again. It's time to do build number three. Penelope, architect, straight bourbon whiskey finished with French oak staves. Oh, behaves. This design marvel comes in at 104 proof and in a 750 milliliter glass container. It has a beautiful blue label on it, which really contrasts nicely to the dark amber liquid inside of it. If I were to give a grade for color on a bottle, this color blue would receive a B for blue, but an A for awesome. America. Oh, that's a lot. That's way too much. That's my bad. That's totally my bad. Penelope Architect Series Build Number 3. A blueprint for the future of precision blending. The third build in this series combines our signature four grain mash bill with French oak staves. Working in collaboration with Tonnelau of France. Oh, it's French? Oh, I can pronounce it for sure then. Tonnelau Redou. The market leader in oak barrel manufacturing and innovation, we selected each stave using their state-of-the-art oak scan process to construct a truly memorable flavor profile. After all, the best architecture leaves no room for error. They got a fancy, they have a fancy whatever you call it, a tasting. They have a, the fancy tasting. If I remembered what that was called, I'd tell you, but I don't. So we're just going to call it the palatogram. It's a palatogram. It tells you what flavors you're going to get on your palate. Is it Indiana still? Bottled by Penelope Bourbon Bottling Company in Bardstown, Kentucky. Um, so since there is no state of distillation on the bottle, I would then assume that this is a distillate of Kentucky. Because if it's not, then by law, they do have to state where it was distilled. But if it were distilled in Kentucky, wouldn't it say Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey? If you know anything about my palatogram, you'll know that I don't necessarily love bourbons that were finished in toasted barrels and staved whiskey, not a huge fan of. Except for the Penelope Toasted, their barrel strength I really, really do enjoy. I came into this with an open mind and an open mouth, and I'm hoping that this first ever architect that I'm going to try is going to be a bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye. The French oak process is immediately apparent on the nose. It's not overwhelming though, which is very nice to see. It's not jumping out of the glass like a super fresh hardwood floor job. It doesn't smell like too varnishy or anything like that. It does have a sweet characteristic. I'm getting a lot of caramel corn on here. Yeah, caramel corn and toffee. A Little bit of a pixie stick. The sugar coming out of a pixie stick. Which color? Not sure. Once something is over finished in a toasted barrel or like has too many staves dropped in for an extended period of time, the nose becomes too tannic. It becomes too bitter and too, what's the word? Too varnishy? This stopped before that limit, and it smells really nice. Down the hatch. All right. This is a very sweet bourbon. This is a very sweet bourbon that has underlying oaky notes, not your traditional extended aged charred dark oaky notes but the more brighter toastier oak notes that you get off toasted barrel products like the nose the palate stops before the limit of over toastedness although i don't super de duperly love that 
French oak profile. It is definitely drinkable for me. This is definitely something that I could sit and enjoy on a given night. I don't think I've ever used this tasting note before, ever. But General Tso Chicken. General Tso Chicken. It is super sweet like that with a bit of spice. And it just reminded me of that General Tso's sauce. Which isn't a bad thing. I freaking love General Tso's chicken. The flavors of the whiskey seem to be together. It's not too disjointed. I do like it. I do like it. I think it's going to be really cool to come back to this bottle in a little while. After it's gotten some air. And those bright, sharp notes get a little bit tamed down. Which I imagine is going to happen. I do like it. It's not my favorite thing on the planet. I'm not going to jump up 30 feet in the air and do 50 heel clicks. If you are a lover of French oaked finished products or a lover of toasted barrel products, I think that this will probably be right up your alley. The proof point is great. It's nice and oily. It coats every little area of the mouth. The finish is pretty good. I just wish I liked it more. If that makes sense. If that doesn't make sense, it's because that statement doesn't make any sense at all. My wife says, I wish I liked spicy food, and I'm like, but that doesn't make any sense because if you don't like it, then why would you want to like it? I don't know. I will be happy to revisit this bottle in a few months. I think with air, this is going to get even better. Tonight, Penelope Architect. Build number three receives a score from me of... 7.2. 7.2, it's good. It's a good bourbon. If this type of bourbon is your jam, then this number will be much higher for you. For me, it's a 7.2. I just don't absolutely love the toasted barrel or French oak stay finished stuff. It's just not my jam, baby. But for not being my jam, I do still consider it a good bourbon. That's gonna do it for this video. My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on telling your phone to just do its job and that's it. Why are phones just updating system, like system updates in the middle of the night all of a sudden? Like you got, I have auto update off. Like, hey, don't do that. And then guess what it does? It goes, whoops, sorry, I forgot. And then it just updates in the middle of the night and then my alarm doesn't go off. And I'm like, what in the world is happening? And then I go into my settings and then it turned auto update back on. Not only me, but also my wife. Hers, auto update back on. Hey, Samsung, guess what? You're not the boss of me, okay? If I turn a setting off, I mean it. And if you turn it back on, guess what I'm gonna do? Turn it back off, okay? So st stop being what, whatever you're doing. Stop it. And why I didn't get text messages for a whole day? That's on you too. Or Verizon. That's one of you guys. It's one of you little people out there. That's not, not my fault and stuff. So get your shit together or I'm going to come to wherever you're at as long as it's local and I'm going to throw a stink in your office. And by that I mean... Not gonna do a damn thing. What else do I got on my mind that I'm angry about? Calories, you know, calories can go F themselves.